Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is August the 21st. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. In fact, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today, we're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. Jesus told about two people who talked to God in two totally different ways. Which prayer do you think pleased God more? Let's read about it from Luke chapter 18. One day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, saying, Give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman's driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she's wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, Learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on earth who have faith? Then Jesus told this story to some who had great confidence in their own righteousness and scorned everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a despised tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not a sinner like everyone else. For I don't cheat, I don't sin, and I don't commit adultery. I am certainly not like that tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I give a tenth of my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, O God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. I tell you this, that sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Wow, what a story. The tax collector's prayer pleased God because this man came humbly to God. The Pharisee, on the other hand, not only boasted that he was not a sinner, but he also bragged about how good he was. The truth is that we're all sinners. We're all in need of God's forgiveness, and we all are humbled before God. When we pray, let's make sure we don't see ourselves as better than others, with our chests puffed out and thinking that we're better than those other people over there. No, let's come with a humble attitude before God and recognize that that I'm the same. I'm just like everyone else. And I'm in need of God's mercy and His forgiveness. Just like everyone else. This is what Psalm 57.1 says, Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. I look to you for protection. I hide beneath the shadow of your wings until danger has passed by. But hey, kids, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible. And I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I plan on being here. Until tomorrow, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. Let us always remember this. All right, kids, say it with me now. That you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.